There's three radio stations that people in my house tend to like to listen to. Although we could use Google or Amazon to broadcast and ask for those radio stations to be played, we tend to like to um, drive those through a button on a dashboard, on a card, on a screen, so it's so much easier to use. So in this video, what I'm going to be using is the mini media player in Home Assistant to configure three different radio stations to be played at the push of a button. So if you think that's something that's going to be of use to you, then stick around and watch the video. Thanks for watching. What I'll cover in this video then is um, a little bit about the mini media player. So you need to install that from the Hacks integration. So uh, if you don't know how to install Hacks or if you haven't got that installed already, then there's another video that I'll link below that will hopefully take you through that process and you can get both Hacks and the mini, mini media player installed. That's not easy to say. Uh, once you've got that up and running, then um, we can go through and start adding the radio station. So I'll take you through a bit of a demo of what I'm doing with my existing uh, mini media player, the radio stations that I listen to, um, Radio 2, Virgin Radio and Heart Radio in the UK. Um, so I'll show you how I've got those set up and the shortcuts that you can click on to listen to those radio stations. And I'll do that both for the Amazon devices and for Google as well, because the configuration in the card is slightly different, I found, for those, depending on which speaker type you're listening to. Um, hopefully, I've covered everything in detail and it's um, understandable, but if not, then give us a shout, ask some questions in the comments below. But hopefully, you'll enjoy the video. It'll be nice and clear, and by the end of this, you'll have... Um, the mini media card player up and running with some radio stations that you like to listen to. Thanks for watching. See you soon. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install or make sure you've got installed the mini media player and that's done through hacks. If you haven't got hacks or the mini media player installed, then you can watch my video on how to do that, which I'll put in the link below. It's um, pretty straightforward to get up and running. And the mini media player is what, what we're going to be using to um, configure our radio channels that we want to listen to. So once you've clicked uh, mini media player, download, install that, and then you'll be ready to go. Let's have, the, have a look at the mini media player in action then. So this is what I've got set up in my kitchen room at the moment. So I've got the mini, me, mini media player uh, that allows me to play Radio 2, Virgin Radio and Heart Radio on my Amazon Dot in the kitchen. No, he's not in the UK. He's been away since April. So as you can hear, if I click on the independent individual buttons, I can hear the radio stations. And you can also see that the um, background image is changing based on the radio station that's playing which is quite nice so you've got a visual aid to see what you're listening to as well and you've got control buttons there as you can see so you can stop and start things so if we have a look at what's configured on the media player itself so you've got the usual tabs across the top the config visibility and layout and there's various settings that you can change in the interface to control how things look you can group the cards you can change the buttons around you can change toggle the power button behavior you can also um, change how the artwork looks I've got um, material at the moment but you may choose to use cover or um, full cover and it kind of represents things in a slightly different way so this is going onto a dashboard in my kitchen so I don't want to crowd it with too much information so I've kind of gone for a, a minimal view that shows me the radio station that's playing from a visual point of view but also doesn't crowd the screen so you'll have to have a play around with these settings here just to see what works best for you so to configure the radio station, we need to go into the code editor and you'll see a section in here um, called shortcuts and that's the three radio stations that I've got configured. Um, you can also see that you can give your 
media player a name as well. So the sections that I'm highlighting at the bottom are the configuration changes where we just looked on the panel. Um, so those are reflected in this um, YAML code. But the bit that we're going to focus on next is looking at creating those buttons. And what we'll do is we'll create um, a, a one from scratch so you get to see the process that I went through to create these. So by the end of the video, you'll have your own mini player with the radios, radio stations configured. Let's create a mini radio player then from scratch. I'm going to set one up in my living room. So what I'm going to do is set this mini media player up to play the radio on my Amazon Echo which is in the living room. So the first thing I need to do is set up the mini media player card. So I'm going to add that to my existing dashboard. So as you can see, there's not an awful lot of information in the media card to begin with. So the first thing I need to do is select the speaker that I want to use to play the radio station. So as I mentioned, I'm going to select my living room echo speaker and you'll see during the course of this video that the controls to play the radio stations is slightly different between the Amazon speakers and the Google speaker so the Google speakers I'll cover in a separate part of this video so these are all the default settings for the card out of the box if you like so we'll go into the code editor and we can start to configure how we want our buttons to be represented on our mini media player. So the first thing I'm going to do is give the media player a name and then start configuring the shortcuts for that I want to see represented on the screen. So in the example earlier, I had three uh, radio stations configured. So I want to create three shortcuts essentially. So I'm going to create a column width of three and then I can start populating the buttons that are going to play my radio stations for me. If you'd like the code for this, then let me know and I'll put it on my I'll put the code on my GitHub repository. So the nice thing about this is you can start to see visually how the card's going to be represented on your dashboard as you type this information in. So as I add the first button, second button, third button, you'll start to see how the information is going to be represented. Represented. So the, the nice thing about the Amazon devices is that it's really easy to um, get them to play radio station because in the ID section, as you can see there, I've literally got the text or, that I would say to play the radio station. Um which is just play BBC Radio 2. Now you'll see later on on the Google example that I give, it's, it's a bit more complicated to do that. So um, I wanted to create two different sections to this video. So if you're interested in the Amazon configuration, then this should be enough. But if you want the Google one, then you'll have to watch the next section of the video. So just to help you understand what's going on, I'm just typing these um, statements into the text editor just so you get a feel for um, the types of information that you need to put in but in reality once you've done one you can just copy and paste it and just change the the ID and name to the name that you want to name the next radio station and again for the icons I've just cho chosen a, a default radio icon you can obviously choose something else if you wish but now you can see it's starting to take shape on the right hand side I can see my buttons for radio 2 and virgin radio and I'll start to see the third button appearing now for heart radio so that's it that's the three radio stations configured and they should be ready to work so you can obviously configure the screen configuration um, once you're happy that everything's working you can change the um, look and feel of how things are di displayed on the screen 
And you can obviously drag and drop these controls around so it's in the position on your dashboard that you'd like to see it. So I've noticed the first time you click these, it takes a little bit of time to kind of buffer the radio station. But once it's done it the first time, it seems to be a bit quicker. So you can see there, there's the small icon showing um, Virgin Radio. Now it's switched over to Heart, so we can see that it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing and playing those radio stations. Obviously, don't want to play them because I don't want to be in a kind of a copyright situation. So I think the fact that we can see that information appearing on the on the screen shows that they're actually working and doing what they're supposed to be doing. So once you're happy it's all working, you can go into these this config page and change things around just so you're happy um, visually how it's represented on whatever platform you want to see this on. So in this section, what we're going to do is create another mini media player, but for Google speakers rather than for Amazon speakers. So I've gone into my family room dashboard. I'm going to edit that and add my mini media player card. And then we can go through the configuration of setting that up. So the first thing I want to do is assign the media player for that room. So I'm going to be looking for my family room hub, which is a little kind of display based Google device. We'll come back to the configuration page later and we'll go straight into the YAML code. So for those that haven't watched the Amazon section of the video, basically I'm building up this um, code to show the shortcuts to the radio stations that I want to be able to select from. Um, and you can only do this in the code. So basically, I want to have three sections, three columns, and I'll have three radio stations listed as shortcuts. And as, as you see this code being built out, you'll see the how the buttons are going to be represented on the right-hand side of this screen. So by the end of this, you'll see three buttons, one with Radio 2, one with Virgin Radio, and one with Heart Radio. And what we'll need to do is, as we go through this process, we'll need to identify how to play those radio stations um, by using the radio browser. So if you haven't got the radio browser installed on your Home Assistant, you'll need to go into Home Assistant integrations and add the radio browser to do this. Because that's what's going to be used to play the radio stations for the Google devices. So for the ID on the Amazon section, it was pretty straightforward. It was just play the radio station that you want to listen to. So it's just the text that you would say um, when you're playing, when you're talking to your Amazon devices. But for this this one, what we need to do is flip across into um, a, a, an automation just to try and get the browser uh, radio code. And it'll all make sense shortly. So I've created this automation. I'm not going to do anything with it as such. I just want to use this to navigate to the radio player to get the media player contents. So we'll select a media player. doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to go with the family room one because that's the one we're working with. And then pick media. So I want to use the radio browser, which we'll hopefully have installed now. And then I can click on that. And navigate through to find the radio station that I want to listen to. So I'm in the UK, so I'm going to go to the UK section here, and then going to scroll through this list and find the radio station that I want. So it's a Virgin Radio that I want to listen to. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and find Virgin Radio. Some of these stations have multiple icons as you can see here so you need to identify the one that you want to listen to so you can then look at the yaml code here and we're looking for this media content id media source so we want to copy that white text that i've got highlighted there into our radio mini radio player as the id so as you see it's slightly different to the way that it would work with the Amazon player. So we need to repeat that process for Heart Radio as well now.
So as you can see on the right hand side, the the way that these icons or shortcuts are going to be displayed is starting to you're starting to be able to see those on the right hand side, which is quite nice from a development point of view. So same as last time, I need to go back to my fake automation and browse for heart radio station and find the radio station that I want to listen to through my mini media player. So as you can see, there's lots and lots of different radio stations. So you just need to identify which is the one that you want to listen to and then select it and then we can copy the radio browser link. So once you've happy you've chosen the right radio station, you can then look at the YAML code and again copy that media source string across to your mini media player into the ID section. Now the final link uh, for BBC Radio 2 is slightly different. So as you may or may not know, um, BBC have BBC Sounds app where you can listen to BBC radio station so bbc radio 2 is doesn't appear to be listed in uh, the radio browser anymore so if somebody out there can correct me if i'm wrong but i couldn't find it listed so i've had to find a link for the bbc radio 2 bbc sounds application um all I had to, all I did in the end was just do some Google searches and found the link that other people was using. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a better way to do that. So, if you're looking for radio stations that are outside of the um, radio browser, then you, you 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 may need to do some research on how to find that. So, as I say, I couldn't find the BBC Two radio station in the browser, so I've had to go a different route. So this is the media content ID that I'm using in a different automation that, I, as I said, I just found from a Google search. Um, so you'd have to probably do the same if you've got any other more bespoke, strange radio st stations that you want to listen to. But again, you just copy that, that link into the ID and it will play the, the radio station that you want. So if we test that now, hopefully we'll see the radio stations playing and the icon should change to playing on the hub there at the top so you can see under entertainment section hub playing so we know that that's playing and again it's switched over on the hub to playing at the top there I click on radio 2 and it's gone to idle and now it's buffering and then playing. So we, we know that those three radio stations are playing. But again, for copyright reasons, I don't want to be playing those radio stations uh, on the YouTube video. Um, so hopefully that's been of use and um, we'll move on to the next section. Thanks for watching the video to the end. Hopefully you found it useful. So just a quick summary of what we've covered. We've used the Hacks integration to download and install the Mini Media Player. And we've used the Mini Media Player to configure three different radio stations. So in my case, it's Radio 2, Heart Radio and Virgin. But obviously that could be anything depending on your music choices and where you are in the world. We've got those um, radio stations in a card on a dashboard so we can then um, use those shortcuts to those radio stations to play the music you want. So the difference was in the video um, we had the ability to play those radio stations on either an Amazon device or a Google device and you saw during the video the slight differences in the configuration that you needed to have in place. Hopefully that was clear and hopefully that was of use. If it isn't then give us a shout in the comments or um, send me an email or something and I'll try and help you out. But hopefully the video is useful. If it was, then please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear back from you how you're um, listening to, to radio stations, whether there's a better way to find those, those links, those IDs that you need to put in. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.